Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today we will be learning how to create this awesome neon line effect on our photographs. Let's get started. In my project, I'm starting with a black background and a portrait of a woman. And this other layer is just this same image, but with a Gaussian blur on it. So it created a pretty cool effect. I've removed the background of this image because I want some of the lines to go behind her. First, I'm going to turn the visibility on for guides by going up to View and down to Show Guides. I recommend using guides if you want to create symmetric geometric shapes. You can see that I have some previous guides created, and you will see how these help me place my paths. To create a guide, simply click and drag from the ruler on the top or left hand side of the GIMP workspace. And to delete, just move it back. All right, let's create our first path. I'm gonna select the pen tool and draw out my first path. Then I'm going to navigate to the paths dialog and create a new path and draw the second path. Then I'm going to navigate back to the layers dialog. Now that we have our two separate paths, we need to make multiple layers for each. Each path will be assigned three layers and I will name them as follows. Line color one, Line Highlight 1, and White Line 1. And then I'm just going to create another set of layers for the second line. To organize this project, I will create groups. The first one will be labeled Line 1. And I will drag the layers with the number 1 into it. Make sure your sequence of layers in the group has white line at the top, line highlight in the center, and line color on the bottom. I will repeat the same process of creating a group for line two. Now let's create our lines. First, I will create the colored line. Navigate to the paths dialog and make your first path visible by clicking the eye. Make sure your path tool is also selected. And if you don't see these points active, simply click on your path. Now go back to the Layers dialog, and under the Line 1 group, select Line Color 1. Change the foreground color to the color you want your line to be, then select Stroke Path in the Paths Tool options. I'm going to make the size of this path 30 pixels, and then I'm going to click this plus next to Line Style, and make sure the cap style is set to rounded. And then I'm going to click Stroke. Next, I'm going to select the layer Line Highlight 1 and change the foreground color to white. Then again, I will click Stroke Path, but this time set the path size to 15 pixels. And then click Stroke. Finally, we will select the layer White Line 1 and then select Stroke Path and set the size to 7 pixels. Now that we have our basic colors down, it's time to add some Gaussian Blur. Select the Line Color layer and go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Make sure you have Preview selected, 
and adjust the size to your liking. Now we are going to do the same thing to the line highlight layer, but we'll decrease the size of the Gaussian blur. We will leave the white line 1 layer alone. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the second line. To get rid of these visible path lines, go over to the Paths dialog and just click this eye. Then I'm going to go up to View and uncheck Show Guides. So now we can see our final project a little better. So I want this bottom line to be in front of her while this line behind her head to stay where it is. So I'm going to go back to Layers and I'm going to collapse these groups by hitting the minus button. And then I'm going to move this line one group up above all the layers so it's positioned in front of her. And you've just created an awesome effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.